Hey friends, Greg here with the Pennywise guys. Today I'm going to show you how I built a custom line set cover for this mini split air conditioner I put on this trailer. Let's get started. Alright, first thing I need to do is measure this line set. The dist distance from the, um, the unit is about five and a quarter uh, to center. Okay, so we'll go five and a quarter there to center and we'll measure to the floor up to the center line again of the unit and it looks about 62 and a quarter so five and a quarter and 62 and a quarter so we'll go ahead and make the the, uh, the cover to accommodate those two measurements and we'll uh, show you how to install it after getting the measurements from the line set on the trailer I uh, measured from the unit to the middle of the line set got this measurement and from the middle of the line set to the floor and got that measurement cut my pieces of two inch scheduled 40 pipe with an uh, elbow glued it together so now I have the measurements I need from here to the center and from center to the floor I went ahead and made these lines these are my, me, my cut lines I went ahead and used the uh, printing as a guide to get a straight line down the, down the line with a straight edge mark it with sharpie inch and a quarter over, made the second line and did the same here and I'm going to do a, um, a cut here with the Dremel tool, we'll, we'll get it rounded out inside here, we'll show you that in a minute. Okay, I went ahead and clamped it with a C-clamp to this pallet. Okay, so it's nice and rigid so I can get a, a steady surface to cut. So what I use is my DeWalt four and a half inch grinder with a metal cutoff wheel. Very dangerous. Uh, I don't have my guard on here because I've had a lot of use on this cutting steel from my construction and that guard just got in the way so I took it off. But uh, I don't recommend taking off the guard but uh, uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and do it without. Always keep your hand always above this shroud on this handle. Never let go. Always keep your hand on the trigger. When you release the trigger let it stop before putting down your item or the grinder that way you're not going to get your hand cut okay so be very careful even with the guard same procedure keep your hand on here always let it stop before you uh, let it down just to safeguard that because I don't want anybody getting hurt but uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just make the cuts okay we're gonna start here and getting a little noisy and a little, a little uh, dirty but we'll go ahead and get it started I let it come to complete stop before I take my hand off, just to be safe. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make the cut this way and then I'll break this out with this. Let's see, didn't quite cut it all the way through but it should. Careful, it's kind of sharp. There we go. Get that out of the way. And I'll cut that later. Alright. We're going to go ahead and I'll uh, stop this. I'll finish the cuts. I'll grab my Dremel tool and we'll make that radius there. I'm going to go ahead and just show you this real quick. I went ahead and then reclamped it inside. I don't know if you see that or not. Inside the, where I cut it out at. Right there. Nice and tight. So this thing's not going to move. And then we'll continue our cuts. I'll use my rotary tool here.
get rid of the sharp edges here. Don't want to cut anything. Just do a little bit of this one here. Okay, now I'm just going to check check the edges here for sharp, uh, sharp edges. Get it deeper. I went ahead and painted it white, solid white, flat white, so it looks really, really clean. And that's going to fit right across here. And I'm going to go ahead and fit that in. And I'm, I can't squeeze in there and have a camera at the same time, so I'm just going to put that line set inside of the cover. So I'll squeeze it into the opening. Okay. This is the two inch pipe and all that's going to be inside this cavity. Uh, you want to do is make a, a more sharp bend here. So you got to be very careful not to kink the line. So we're going to uh, gently bend that so it makes a little sharper 90 degree bend right through the um, right where it'll go through the elbow. So it'll be a, a, not a real 90 but kind of sweep it right there. So I'll make that gentle bend. I'll squeeze that in there. And I'll show you what it, uh, how it fits in there after I get it in, and then we'll strap it to the wall. Okay, you start with one of the insulated lines, pop it through the groove, and push it aside. Get the second, and go all the way down the line, all the way down, and then pop in the second line set. So we have one that's quarter inch insulated, one that's three eighth insulated, and pop it in there and move it aside. And then you have the um, the condensation line to work in work in there and pop it aside. Uh, go up and down with each one. The first line set. Then start with the second one. Get it worked around the corner. Get that bent gently to fit in this radius here. Don't go sh too too tight. Just make it fit this radius right here. About like that. Get them popped in there. Get the drain line popped in there. And um, the drain line, I've got it closer to the bottom, so we want we don't want it up here. We want it closer down here, up at least past this point, and then down. Okay, and then the electrical line would be last. The electrical cord. Okay, pa I'll pop it back in there, and I'm going to put a, a a bracket right here to hold that in place, and get that aligned up there real nice. That's fitting pretty good. So I'm going to raise it just a little bit, get a line, put that bracket on there. Here is the finished product for the line set cover. I decided to go ahead and put that bracket over next to the unit. It just seemed like a little better spot to put it. And then I put one down at the, at the floor down there. And that's all we're going to need. Okay. So it came out really nice. Of course I painted it the matte white, but you can choose any color you want. We're going to be repainting these walls, so um, I think if, you know, if we had to repaint it later, we can do that. And it just finishes off your line sets and protects them from getting damaged. So, here you go. Alright, well you have a blessed day. I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos. I pray that you are blessed that you know him who is the author of life.